This planet, Earth, was born four and a half billion years ago. Its atmosphere was 100% CO2. The radiation from the sun would kill everything. Eventually, the oceans form, life begins. It finds an amazing source of energy, the sun. As photosynthesis evolves, life started creating its own protective layer for more life to emerge. It took billions of years to make this planet very welcoming to life. In the last 60 years, we are significantly reversing that balance. In 2015, the world leaders came together to agree on what our targets need to be to curve catastrophic impacts of climate change. The translation now is doing that. We still see a huge 30 gigaton gap between national government policies and where the science tells us that we need to go. And that gap is just widening. In a fragmented space where we can't trust the numbers, how do we trust what is actually happening at the Earth level? And this is not just about accounting. It's about accountability. I started to look at what kinds of technologies and innovations might be out there to help us address this problem of data gaps in climate change policy. And that's when I stumbled upon blockchain. Now, in really simple terms, the idea of blockchain is just to kind of decentralize your, your data storage. You have certification processes that are transparent. So you can say, how do I know so many kilowatts were created at this point in time? Well, I can actually run an algorithm and then I can put it on a blockchain. Other person can look at it and replicate that and say, yes, that's true. You eliminate the need for a third party. So that's the transparency of it all. That's the big deal if you can do that at scale. It's not just decentralized in its computational and its record keeping system. It's decentralized on how people collaborate and contribute to it. Everyone at Yale, where I was based at the time, said you have to speak with Martine Weinstein. You two are like minds and you'll just totally hit it off. At Yale, I proposed an open innovation lab. We've hosted our first open climate collabathon where we invited teams around the world not to compete against each other, but to build different pieces of the same integrated climate accounting system. And presenting that at the conference of the parties, COP25 in Madrid, my peers and people that I engaged through at COP they responded with, yes, we've been needing this for years. And the validation that no one was tackling and building this as holistically as we had set it up was a massive inspiration for the design and launch of the Open Earth Foundation as a totally independent entity. That sounded incredibly exciting to really think differently about the Earth's grand challenges, including climate change and oceans and the role that digital innovation and technology can play. There's something special in the work we're doing that I don't think anyone else is doing. Open Earth is really unique. The radical collaboration in being a team of teams and pulling together the experts from very diverse parts of the ecosystem of climate change solutions and the ecosystem of climate tech. You don't feel egos when you sit in a meeting. We listen with intent and communicate with transparency. It's about how do we radically and openly collaborate with other people so that they can use our outputs, we can use their outputs, and together we can solve these challenges. How do you motivate everyone around the world to move away from a fossil-based economy to a sustainable economy into an equitable economy? That's a huge challenge. So you need to create a digital infrastructure. We can't do that through one single web platform. We have to create a platform of platforms. Part of our work as building platforms is actually building communities. As we increase the community, we have more diversity, we have better perspectives, we have more visions, and this is a planetary goal, and we need the planet working towards this. There's extremely valuable databases, accounting mechanisms, markets already out there, but they don't necessarily talk to each other. We have to bring them together. We can leverage this whole network of the Internet of Things, or IoT, to get the data that we desperately need to understand how far or close are we to meeting our climate change goals. Then you can have like emissions data on the whole world, right? Because every sensor is reporting at the same time. We're able to combine getting the data 
building those advanced models and applying it to predict things about the future that will help decision making, that will help policy makers. By coming up with a totally automated system that can incorporate real streams of data, be able to actually get a sense in almost near real time of how the planet is doing on climate change emissions. Collaborating towards a more resilient planet, it involves climate accounting, but it also involves climate financing. How do we finance climate action at the community level? In a way that it becomes frictionless. Part of the first tools we've built is a pilot in Puerto Rico to test IoT sensors that measure the results of installing solar panels. We used smart sensors in order to document what energy was actually generated. Then we used AI and machine learning to verify that the data is actually correct. And then blockchain here works as like a reporting layer and then also to disseminate the returns of the project. And once we have scaled these smaller projects, you can bundle them up and make them investable for bigger funds. So you actually create entirely new financial mechanisms around these projects. If we fail, the climate impacts we're facing will not compare with what is yet to come. Putting entire nations underwater, species lost, ecosystems destroyed, and the inability of the planet to regenerate itself. There are all these things that suddenly are gonna come crashing in on us, and there has to be a solution. There has to be an alternative. The big evolutionary step is for us to realize how deeply interconnected we are, to create a level of unity we haven't seen before. In our work, in our collaboration, in our partnerships, in our actions, we will achieve the future we want when we realize that Earth comes first.